Hi guys, today we're going to take a look at all my crochet and knitting tools and there's a lot to go through so without further ado let's just get right on into it. Now I do keep my materials in a series of these baskets. I have three. One is for crochet, one is for knitting, and one holds like the miscellaneous toolboxes. So we're gonna start with my crochet basket. And let's just pull these out and get right into our materials. I do keep my crochet hooks in these little pint jars mason jars. They're easy to kind of pick up and haul around and they hold them and I just like them. So we're going to start with this one right here. I do like two different brands of crochet hooks and those are the ones I keep and use. These are the Clover Amores. Let's see if I can get it to focus. And they do keep the um, numbers and the sizes actually embossed in to the handle so it's not going to uh, wear off or wear down which is nice and you can see the clover name there it's got a little hair on it and it does have a little bit of a shorter shank so um, some people might not like that it doesn't really bother me I like the head on that you can see it's got a nice deep I don't know what you call this I would call this area here maybe the throat but it's got a nice sort of deep throat on there. And what I really like about these is the metal that they use is so buttery smooth. It makes it so much easier when I crochet because the yarn is so just kind of slips right along it and just nice and smooth. So I don't feel like I'm fighting with the yarn at all. It's really nice and it's got a good grip. I like the grip. It's sort of a semi rubbery sort of feel on that and I just I like it it works really well for me so I have a set of these and in my most used sizes I actually have um, maybe like I think two or three of the ones in the most commonly used sizes for me so I do have some extras in that the second set that I have and my other favorite brand are the tulip edamos and here you can see them there now these are not embossed into the um, handle, but whatever it is they've used on there, it has not yet rubbed off. It seems to be pretty solid. So, so far so good. And this doesn't have quite as rubbery of a grip as the Clovers, but it has a nice grip for me. It feels really good in my hand and I really like using them. And it doesn't give me fatigue. The style of these particular two handles, I can just work for quite a bit of time without feeling any um, fatigue in my fingers. And maybe it's because I'm not gripping them as tightly. When I was using just a straight metal one, I just felt like I was gripping it pretty tight and I would get you know, pain up in my fingers sometimes, but I don't seem to have a problem with these. Again, whatever the metal they use on here is really smooth. I feel like these uh, Tulip Edamos aren't quite as buttery smooth as the Clovers, but it's okay because sometimes I want it to have just a little bit of resistance. And depending on what I'm working with, what um, material the yarn is. So these are perfect in those situations. And you can see the head and the throat there on that nice pointed tip. And let's actually compare compare these. Now the length is hmm, kind of similar. This one is a little bit longer, but then again, the size is also different. This here is a five and a half. Do I have my six and a half here? That's a six. I might not have my six and a half in here. It might be being used. I think it's in another bag. I think it's in a project bag. But, so we'll compare the six and the six and a half, close enough. But you can see that the tulips are maybe just a hair longer. I wouldn't even say all that enough to be really significant. And the heads are slightly different. This one has a deeper throat than the tulip. And this one is a little bit more pointed than this one. But I love them both and they both work well. I don't have any issues with either of them. Now, this jar has my larger sizes. So I haven't been able to really find any metal ones that I really like. 
that are in the larger sizes. I ordered some off of Amazon in some miscellaneous brand and I didn't really care for them as well. And in one of them, actually the rubber of the handle just kept sliding right off. So I ended up getting these and these are also by Clover. And uh, this is a really big size here, but the plastic on here was actually pretty decent. I haven't really had any issues and it kind of works pretty well. Um, I use the eight a lot and that's one of these ones in here. This pink one, maybe. Nope, that's a six. A six, yeah, it is. Nope, that's the eight. Sorry, my eyes were. So this is the eight. So I use this one quite a bit, and um, it's smooth and it works really well. So I haven't had all that many issues with that. So let's move those aside. And the last ones I have to show you for the crochet hooks are these wood ones here. I actually have gotten each of these for specific projects that I've needed them for. I don't particularly have a whole set of them. It's just these three. Now this one is a 15 millimeter. This is made by Knitter's Pride. And I do have the same size in this, oh, it's all fuzzy, in this um, clover. But I have it in this wood one too. And you can see the heads are a little bit different. I like this one. It's nice and pointy. It's got a good throat. This has a good throat too. But both of these actually worked pretty well. I did find this Knitter's Pride to be comfortable, which I was not expecting. So it was pretty easy to use. And that was nice. I had another project where I needed a 19 millimeter focus. And so I got this one made by Chiagu. And you can see it's got this nice, comfortable little thumb grip here on, and a finger thrip, grip on both sides so it made it pretty comfortable to use and I didn't have any problems with this either. I like the nice deep throat and the pointed tip. I found this to be a pretty good hook. So, And then when I was making some cat blankets I needed a 25 millimeter or a U. Oh come on focus focus there you go. Again by Chiago has the same thumb and finger grip the same style of hook with a nice pointed tip. I found this one a little bit more awkward just because of the size and the size of the yarn I was using, but I did uh, use that for making cat blankets. And that's pretty much it for the hooks that I keep for my crochet. Just basically those three, two brands and then the, uh, the three wood ones. So we might as well get right into the next tool. Now this is by Lantern Moon. These are my Tunisian crochet hooks. I haven't actually tried Tunisian crochet yet. I really um, want to, and I received these for Christmas. I just haven't, like I said, got a chance to use them yet. And I haven't done a whole lot of research. This is what the hooks look like. This is by Lantern Moon, and these are just like screen painted or something on there. They're not embossed, so I expect that that will probably wear off in time. But if you look on the metal here, it does tell you it is an eight millimeter or a US 11. So that is embossed on there, which is nice. This is what the hook looks like. I expect that I'm going to like it because it's about kind of like the other ones that I have. And how this works is you have a cable and you put the cable right into the end and it's however long you want that cable, then it has an end stop on it. So you just sort of crochet and keep pushing your stitches off onto that, the cable until you know, you're know you done. And then you kind of just pull it back, I think, if I understand, which you crochet one way and then you crochet back through the other way. I'm not really sure. I'm still kind of looking into how, how that works, but I'm very intrigued by it and I'm really excited to use it. So these right here are the wooden end caps and they give you a nice comfortable looking tightening tool here and they're in this little envelope and it kind of shows you how to use them and they're little wooden wooden end stops so I kind of like that or, or caps whatever you want to call them and I don't think the cables are in here are they oh yeah they are they should be back here there they are so these are the cables and these came with two sets I have the swivel cords, so that just means that this right here can stay stationary and the cord can actually swivel all the way around. So you don't get, you know, as many like kinks or things like that. And here's the end that screws in. And I have two different sizes here, two different lengths. And then these are fixed, so fixed cords. And these ones do not swivel. So if you're going to hold the end, the cord doesn't 
if you can see the cord doesn't really move it just twists and so then you have to kind of when you you have to kind of just keep keep it from kinking basically the nice thing about these lantern moon is that the cables and cords are interchangeable with the knitter's pride the lantern moon used to be a separate company and then it um, disappeared for a while i think from what i understand and then knitter's pride bought them out or took them over so their cords and cables are is it knitter's pride i think i think so i believe so yeah the knitter's pride i had to think about that for a second so their cords and cables and end stops and things are interchangeable with the lantern moon ones which is pretty nice so those are my lantern moon and all right sorry about that guys alexa had a reminder for me so this is a little rolling case that i just have we are now getting into knitting just for some random um knitting tools here and these are my double pointed needles by chiagu my six inch and i also have a six inch 2.25 millimeter this was a four millimeter this is a 4.5 millimeter i got these on clearance from a shop that was getting rid of all of them and i think these are my high ohio sharps in here they are i have a set of high ohio sharps in a 2.25 you will find as i go through my tools that i imagine in my head that i am going to learn to knit socks so that's why i have some of these small sizes hasn't happened yet so I keep those in this little case. And then again, that same shop that was going out of business. Whoops. Always makes you sad when a shop goes out of business, doesn't it? But I was able to get all these other double pointed needles in the Mindful collection, which is a Knitter's Pride collection. And I really like this collection. So let's look into one of these. Let me find one of the bigger ones so we can really see. What I like about these is that the, the feel of them is really smooth. They're very, very smooth. And they have their sizes and information etched right on it. It says US 8 5.0 millimeter and Knitter's Pride. There you go. Nice sharp tips. I like a sharp tip. Some people like a blunt tip and some people just, it depends on what type of yarn they're working with. If they're working with something more organic, like, you know, wool or something, they might want something a little less slickery and um, maybe the blunter point so it doesn't split. I actually find I split more with the blunt point and the these uh, sharper tips work better for me. So to each their own, right? So I have all of these double pointed needles. And then in this little bag here, this little uh, canvas bag, I have these, they're actually they were like in the kitchen section, these food bags, but I found them to be really good for storing my materials. Here are some of those end caps for, you can use them for the Knitter's Pride, but they actually were for the Lantern Moon. I got a set of these. I think they were like a dollar at that store that was closing out. Whoop. So this is what the tightening tool would look like. And you kind of put it right into the right into the needle and then the, another one right into the cord and you sort of just like like twist like this and that's how you tighten them down. But they fit really nicely in here and they label well. So as I start to use more of my cables and, and open more of these things, I can just pop them all into here. These are my Knitter's Pride Mindful Collection end caps and tightening pins. And these ones are plastic. There's the hole in the end and you can see they're kind of pretty. Don't know if that will rub off over time, but these go right onto the end of the cable so that as you are um, either using your Tunisian crochet hooks or your knitting needles, um, you can just, the stitches will end up right onto the end there so they don't slide off. You can also use these if you're using the same cables for multiple projects. You can put a project on hold by putting it on a cable. Actually, I'm sorry, if you're using the knitting needles for multiple projects, you can put these on the two ends of your cable for circular needles and sort of hold your project. 
again, I apologize. The migraine is sort of, this is uh, causing me to forget, huh? Um, these are for the Chi Chiagu, but I don't have any in there right now. Here's some for my knit picks. And these are just some flat plastic type of ones. And here are some of my Knitter's Pride Extra cables. When we get into my knitting needles, my circular knitting needles, we'll look more into that. And I like these Knitter's Pride ones because they swivel. So all of the ones that I have right here in my hand swivel. And they also have marking increments, so by inches. So you can kind of count how many inches you've used as you go along, which is really nice. These are some small short ones. Probably could use those for, I don't know, mittens or I don't know. Here's some longer one. I've got a bunch in here. These are just some spares that I have. And look how nicely these things fit in these, these bags. These are wonderful. Here's an empty bag for the Lantern Moon ones. Here's another empty bag for the Chiagu ones. Chiagu. I think is how you pronounce it. That's because these are all being used in some projects right now. And then I've got a whole bunch here for the knit picks. These knit picks were all given to me by someone. So I haven't really used them much. I really like my um, my Chiagu and my Knitter's Pride. But I will try those out one day. And if I end up not, then I need to give them away to somebody who will use them so that they can continue to get some love. Come on in there, you. Okay. We will just not worry about that. Let's do that later. All right. Now let's pull out some of the knitting materials here. The first two things I'm going to show you are my little Chiago shorties. Put that back there for later. Now, these are some specialized, I guess you would call them, type of sizes. They come in different collections. We'll look at this one first. Now, these ones are for knitting very small little things. You've got your little cables here. It comes with these Twist X Flex cables. These are small, and it gives you the inches there, five, six, and eight. And those are the size of the cables. And then you have two and three inch needles here so you add that to the size of the cable so like if you're using the five inch cable and the two inch um the two inch needles you'd have like a nine inch circumference there and these are what they look like beautiful little guys aren't they now these you can use for making socks or mittens or you know things that you want to do small like in the small round and this is um, US 4, US 5, US 6, US 7, US 8, or a 3.5, 3.75, 4.0, 4.5, and 5.0 millimeter. And they're very small. Look at that. This is the 2 inch. And again, they are etched, if you can read it. Is this backwards? Which way are they? Can't hardly see that. But this is a small, it says it takes a small cable, the CG for the Chiagu, and it is a size 5.0 millimeter. See that on there? And then here is a 3 inch. Let's see if we can line them up, and you can see the difference. I really like the points on these. Again, I've said it before, I kind of like a little bit of a sharper tip. And then there you can see one of the holes. That's one of the tightening holes you would put the pins through. There would be a hole on this side and a hole on the uh, cable. So you can just sort of torque them down. But I have this set. And they fit really nicely in this little bag. And then in the front pocket, it just has some tools a little um, guide there and then these are all the pins and tightening tools and then some end stops here and then it has some little stitch markers and this is a similar set but it's in a different size 
actually I have an extra that I bought in here too. So this is kind of a mess here. These are some extras I bought because if I want to do like flexible double pointed needles, I would need three. And here are the other sizes, which are a 2.0 or a zero, a 2.25 or a one, a 2.25 millimeter or 1.5, a 2.25 millimeter or a two, a three millimeter or a 2.5, and a 3.25 millimeter or a three. Again, two inch, these guys are really small, and a three inch. Very nice, and look how tiny and thin these cables are. This is like a mini cable. So they have like a, a mini, and then a small, and then a um, large. And you'll find that with the Chiagu, they have these three different sizes. And some people don't like that. They wanna have one cable that they can use with all their needles. But I like the different sizes because what I have found on some of the ones that have different sizes is that where the connection point meets your needle, it matches. This is a small connection point to a small needle. And so when it's coming through, it's nice and smooth. See, there's the two holes, by the way. So where you wanna like tweak, you wanna like torque them a little bit so they don't come apart when you're, when you're um, knitting. But if this connection is a universal one size fits all, if you're using a really small needle, you're gonna have to, it's gonna have to come up a little or the stitch is gonna have to come down a little bit extra because the size of this connection point would be larger or sometimes smaller than the rest of the shank of the needle. And I don't think I'd like that. In fact, I had a set that was like that and I didn't care for it. Whoops. I don't have that in the right. Now I said that I had a, a little bit extra because if I was gonna do socks and if I wanted to try the three double needle um, method of making socks, these are more flexible than a steel double needle would be. So if I put like a two inch and a three inch here and I have the three different sets here, then I could make two, uh, three of these almost like flexible double pointed needles and it might be easier to use. So I kind of determined I want to try that. So that's why I have these extras in a couple of these different sizes. I'm using this one in something, but I told you, I imagine in my, in my brain that I'm gonna learn to make socks. I don't know what my hangup is about that, but I just really want to learn to knit socks. And they fit right in here. Now these only come with one envelope and one set, but I was able to buy an extra one of these black envelopes to put my extra needles in. But it doesn't come with two. It only actually comes with one of those black things. So there's my Chiagos there, my small ones, my shorties. Then I have these here. These are also small ones. And these, again, you can use them, I thought, you know, for socks. I bought these separately. So you can buy this as a set where this is all full and you've got all of these needles in here and you've got all the cables and they come in a mesh bag just like this. But I bought them all separately. So I bought the empty envelope and then I just bought the two sizes I thought I would use. Because this sets can be expensive. And if I decide to make socks, which I really wanna do one day, I'm just gonna try the 2.25 and the 2.5 millimeter. I don't really need those smaller sizes. So it was cheaper to buy an empty envelope and just fill it with the, the needles that I wanted. I didn't even have to buy the envelope at all. You can just throw these loose in here, but I kind of like to keep them in there. And these are long. These come in, I think two sizes, four inch and five inch, but I could be wrong on that. It could just come in one size. But again, these are etched. You can barely see it. I mean, I can't hardly see that. It says Chiagu on it, they're backwards. And it has the size. If you can see it with your eyes, you're better than I am. But um, yeah, these are also really nice to work with. And you can kind of get in there. You can, they sort of, they're longer, so you can kind of rest them 
as you need to depending on how you you knit and I am a continental knitter so that is really comfortable for me so I have them in those longer sizes and then I just have some extra cables in here and these again take the minis the mini cables Woo, now we get into some of the good stuff warned you this is going to be a little bit of a longer video and I have a couple of different uh, sets going on here these are my main Chiagu needles my circular needles I do not use straight needles I have a bunch uh, they're actually antiques I guess because they were given to me by a friend of mine um, her grandmother does not knit anymore and she's had those since like the 50s but I found that the circular knitting works best for me. Now this set, get all this junk out of here, comes like this. You'll notice some are missing because they're in projects, but comes like this with one set here and one set here. And when you buy those, you can actually buy this empty case with nothing in it and fill it with what you want. You can buy what they call the large set, which it comes with these and this side is empty and you just fill it as you need or leave it or you can buy the small set where this side is all full and this side is empty um, I actually did buy the large set I didn't think I would use the smalls and then I found out that I would use the smalls so I have kind of bought these as we go along these also come in four and five inches oh, let's see if I can do this without dumping them all out and you can see that they are also marked, which is kind of nice. You have some extra pockets here. And I think in this one, I actually have both sizes of the needles, the four inch and then the five inch. I did buy the five inch set versus the four inch set and then found that for like doing hats, I needed to have some four inch. So as I make a hat or something that I need that smaller size, I just buy the, the smaller size. So far, I've only needed that one. And then this one, I believe, also has a four inch. Okay, four inch and the five inch. But you can see it has sizes there. I won't read them all to you. You can kind of see them for yourself, sort of speed this along to the size five. And I actually have a, a seven millimeter, which is a um, four in, in the four inch, which is a US 10.75 or an L. It doesn't have a slot for these in here, but I needed them for a project, so I had to buy them. Put this without dumping any of these. There we go. And then the size is here. Minus the eight, which is in a project. And it goes all the way up to a US 15 or a 10 millimeter. This one takes the small cables for this side and the large cables for this side. So this is where you can see this, the small size here. And this connection point is bigger than it was on the medium. So I have a couple different lengths on there, 14 inch, a 30 inch. And then I bought an extra one of these mesh bags that was empty. And I'm just kind of filling it with different cables. I have some X-Flex cables in here and just some different cables and stuff. Ah, come on. And then the large cables go for here, but I don't have any in here at the moment. Here is a sample of what one of the locking pins would look like. And then they have these cool little rubber grippers that I got to help kind of twist when you're um, putting them together. So that way they don't, um, that way they don't come apart. So that is my main set of my Chiagos. So we're gonna put those away. And then this is a set I'm just building, just starting. So I bought this empty container, empty case, I guess. And I have, Oh, they're not in here. Oh, you know why? Because they're in a project. I've got one set of the wooden spins, they call them. And they're actually their bamboo knitting needles. But I thought, well, I'm going to get the case because if I decide to build more, 
They work a little bit better when I'm using um, wool. Like if I'm doing superwash merino or plain merino or something, I find that um, I like the bamboo on there. That one's empty, sorry guys. I also have a second set of knitting needles. I love the Chiagu and then I wanted to try these Knitter's Pride. And when that one shop was going out of business, I was able to pick up several sets of the Knitter's Pride. So we're gonna go ahead and look at those. Let's start with the Gratitude set. The Knitter's Pride are kind of nice. They come in these little canvas bags, which you don't have to keep the case in there. You can actually use these for anything you want. Take them off and use them as project bags or whatever, but I just keep them in there. Maybe I want one day if I get sick and tired of pulling them in and out. But I really love the thought process and the attention that goes into these um, mindful collection from the Knitter's Pride. What I don't really like is the shape of this. It's round. I wish it was flat because then it would sit better, but it kind of just always wants to fall over. And I also feel that it's just a lot of wasted space right here. So there's nothing here and there's nothing here. It's just wasted space. It could have just been this size. So yeah, that's just my thing. What I really like about it is when you open it up, there's a nice canvas bag inside it. So it's really durable. It's going to last. Let's look at the needles first. We have the needles here. You can see the sizes. This is the five inch collection. Just going to kind of scroll through these and you can kind of see. It goes all the way up to a 12 millimeter. I think the standard set is 10 millimeter, but this was a bonus set and it had an extra 12 millimeter size, which is like huge. I mean, look at the size of that. Good gravy. They are etched with their names on it. It's not gonna come off. It feels pretty, pretty durable, but time will tell. It says Knitter's Pride, US 17, 12 millimeter. Now this one I can see. <laughs> and then on every one of these is sort of like a mindful word, I guess. This is awake. Some people are really into that and they really love that little detail. Other people are like, nah, I don't really care. Here's an example of an eight millimeter and this one says serene. I love the little picture on there. I just think these are pretty. I like the metal. For me, it has a nice sharp tip, which I really like and they're comfortable to hold. I like a five um, inch um, circular needle tip. It fits right perfectly into the curve of my pinky and works really well for me. So I love those a lot. Now when we're getting into the tools, this is so thoughtful how they just put these in here. It's not a cheesy bag, little plastic, nothing. It's fully canvas and all the things are inside. So they give you with all the sets that I, that I got I have one of these. So it has the um, US size on one side so that you can kind of figure out if you forget what size it is or can't read what size it is. And on the other side is the millimeters. And this is a nice, thick, durable plastic. It's not going to really break or snap on you and it's very pretty. So that comes in there. And then you have a little zipper pouch here and in that zipper pouch is yet another canvas bag. This is so cute. Look how small this is. And inside of here are your end caps for your cables and your locking keys, which basically if I can get one out, oh, they're really down in there. Basically just look like a, um, where is it in there? Maybe I didn't put them in here. Nope, they're in there. I feel them. It looks like a, a straight pin with a blunt tip. Let's get these back in here so I can show you that. And when I said in-depth look, man, we're just really taking an in-depth look, right? So it has this nice ball on one end, so it's easy to grab and hang on to. It's not going to go anywhere on you. And see, it's just like a squared tip there. There's nothing sharp. It's not pointed. And that is your tightening key. So you've got a couple of those in there. Right in that little zippered pouch. And then you get another canvas bag. 
and inside of there are all the cables. I can't actually remember if this canvas bag came in this set or I think the cables might have just been loose in there and this canvas bag came from something else of theirs I got, like a tape measure I think, and I think I just put the cables in here. So don't quote me on that. It might have just come like this. But they give you two sets of cables. You get the swivel ones, so the cords, I guess. Swivel cords, again, we talked about that, how these just spin so that you don't get as much kinking going on. And these cords don't really kink much anyway. Like you could just take them out of here and they would bloop, pop right open. I really like that. So like you twist them and then when you take them out, they're not all kinked up. I love that about the Chiagos and about these mindful uh, collection by Knitter's Pride. And these are your fixed cords. So the ends are not going to swivel. As a matter of fact, I think that's why I didn't like the other Knitter's Pride, the ones I said I don't use um, that I was given as much because the cords kind of kink and then you have to like put them in a boiling water for a few seconds to kind of have them unkink and that's just yeah too much for me and these just don't do that they're nice so everything's right inside here you could put a pair of scissors in here or whatever tools that you kind of want to it's a nice bag there's extra room oh and I think there were um I think I took them out, but I think that there were also, nope, they're in here still. There were these um, little needles here for weaving in your ends and a whole mess of these stitch markers. Look at that. How generous is that? So you get these large round stitch markers and they come on this locking stitch marker that you can take off if you want and use. You've got these smaller like medium-sized ones you've got these teeny tiny ones oh actually these are all these are all locking stitch markers here here's the teeny tiny ones little guys and then you get these split stitch markers so super generous i mean they might be a little bit pricey when you go to look at them but if you consider everything they're giving you like really all you have to supply is the yarn and the know-how like everything is provided for you. There's really nothing extra tool wise that you need. And you can't really fault them for that in the price when they're giving you everything in these quality containers, these quality materials. So I really, really like that. The only thing that I would change is I would have squared this down so that it can sit more easily. And it's just, this is like big, you couldn't throw this into your, purse or whatever very easily either but if it was squared off I feel like you, you could do so a little bit more um what did I do with the okay we won't worry about that for right now all right next oh here it is here's my bag I just slip it right back in there again you don't have to it just comes this way everything I've gotten from this collection has been in a little canvas bag even my like I bought a row counter from them. It came in a little bag. I bought a um, measuring tape. It came in a little bag. It was really nice. Let's go to this one next. So this is the grat or the kindness. The other one was gratitude. This is the kindness collection. Now this one comes in these square, they're square sizes. I think this is just a much easier, nicer sort of thing. You can just like put it somewhere. It has, um, straight ends I just I like that and these are I believe my four inch ones and this is not quite as large a set this is not a full set this is a partial set so you can do that too if you don't want like every size in the collection and this one starts at a three millimeter and this one goes up to a five millimeter and then I added this eight millimeter because I use that eight millimeter size a lot and then I just use this as an extra slot and put it in there I don't use these fours on a regular basis I would use these for like hats or something where I really need a smaller circumference and that extra two inches um, really matters a lot so yeah so I have these and it's like an inch each side so that's two inches total again you get this nice canvas bag here and all your goodies inside. Same thing, you have that, you have the swivel and the fixed cords. 
you also get the little bag with the uh, end cap and the pins and a bunch of the stitch markers and you get the darning needles. Everything in there. Look how cute that little cord is. I actually used one of these so it's already open. And there you go. And it just stores right inside there, which is nice. Everything zips up. It all fits pretty handy. You can or cannot use the canvas bag. And they also have these obviously in the five inch. Just like that larger set, you, I also have that one in the four inch. And then the last set I have from the Mindful series is the Explore. And it comes in this cute little like wedge fan shape here. It's got this nice magnet which is pretty strong and it just folds out this way. And this is my um, fixed set. So these are not um, the ones that you can change the cables. Now these are my little guys because I think I'm gonna make socks one day, right? So these ones all just have this little cord. They're all these small ones. So I think I'm gonna get in there and make myself some socks or whatever. Um, this was a gift from a very dear friend of mine. And they come in all the small sizes that you would need. They come, let's see, it starts out at, what's the smallest size here? It looks like the smallest size is a 2.25. Nope, a two millimeter. So it starts out at a US zero or a two millimeter, and then it kind of goes all the way around to a four millimeter. So that's kind of nice. They also have another set similar to this. That's the magic loop set. And I would like to get that. Whoops, I am so sorry. I beg your pardon. I would like to get that set at some point. But I told myself, I need to actually start making socks before I will let myself buy that. Now this has got this little canvas case again, fan shape so it fits in there. It's got all your standard things that you expect from them. And in the middle here you have some darning needles and um, stitch markers, all of that good stuff again. And of course this one doesn't have cables because these are fixed. And it just folds up and it just right like that. And the Magic Loop ones look just like this, only it's a little bit larger of a size. And that is my Explore set. So those are right in there. And anything else back in here? Nope, well I just have a couple of these. These are the um, Addy, um, I actually found these at a thrift store. So I only have two sets of them. And these would be like a flexible version of your double knitting needle. This is a sort of idea kind of like that I was talking about with those shorties so that they could be a little more flexible. I got these for a dollar fifty, I think, each. So a dollar fifty for this, size six. And then these ones are size three. And a dollar fifty for this. I couldn't beat that, so I had to had to get those. So those are also in there. I think that is all that I have in my knitting needles. Then the last thing we're gonna go through is this little bucket here, which has all of these things. Now, this is where I keep my, my tools, so to speak. This is for my amigurumi, which I consider like a third separate project. So for me, it's crochet, knitting, and amigurumi, although amigurumi really is crochet, but like I said, I consider it separate. So I do have a separate set of um, crochet hooks in there for that. This one here are all my little extra doodads for my crochet and knitting. This one right here is for my loom knitting, which we will completely talk about in another video. And this is also like amigurumi floss for like eyes and little extra things I need to do on that. Then I have this little gauge there. And what do I have on the side over here? Oh, amigurumi eyes in this little container here. 
And then in this cute little bag, I just have <clears throat> all my stitch markers. <clears throat> Pardon me. I have this really fun little measuring tape that is a snail. And then this extra bag in which I have a bunch of scraps and I use these as stitch markers in my amigurumi or waste thread sometimes they call it. And one day I'll do a video on that and show you how I do that. And then I also have these, which I keep in my project bags for my amigurumi, more stitch marker slash waste bag or waste yarn. yarn. So that pretty much sums up my materials here. If you want to have a look at some of these boxes, we can do that really quick. Um, this is my amigurumi box. And in here, I do have my row counters. This is my Knitter's Pride row counter. I have stitch markers, another row counter, some scissors, some contrasting waste yarn for my various projects. I have my little uh, yarn needles, and then I keep an entire set of um, Clover Amour hooks that I need for just the sizes of yarn that I use for amigurumi. So that's pretty much what's in there. And I pull that out and a pair of scissors, of course. So I can just pull this out when I'm doing amigurumi and everything's already in there. Crochet and knitting. I have stitch markers, a larger measuring tape. I have little uh, needle point protectors, another one of those, uh, uh, oh, I can't even think, where you tells you what size your needles are. And then more stitch markers in here. And then loom knitting, which we don't need to use look at right now and then the bus. So that is what is in my three baskets and that's pretty much what I keep for doing all of my crocheting, all my knitting, all of it right in those three boxes. This is the only extra tool kit that I have aside and these are all just some fun stitch markers that I have. I have bought, you know, when I've visited uh, people and gone to the yarn shops there and just looked at all the different um, types of stitch markers there are these ones right here actually came from Hobby Lobby I have a set of those and I've actually begun actually let me show you some of these they're super cute look at these ones they're like flowers I have them in these contrasting colors or com um, not contrasting but complementary colors I have them in the green I have these stars these are smaller. These are like larger and smaller, larger and smaller. So those are kind of fun. And then the ones I got at the Hobby Lobby. And then I have just started getting into kind of making my own, which are what in here, what are in here. And what I've been doing is I kind of get these little charm things when they go on clearance. And then I just make my own stitch markers out of them. So like I made all these bees. You just get some claw hooks in the jewelry making section. You just make your own. So I have all these bees. These were all charms, charm pack. And then I just put, like I said, those lobster claw hooks on them. And now I've got all these little bee stitch markers. Um, these were fun. I made these. Super cute, right? Um, this charm pack was fun. I think these are for like making bracelets, but hey, I made stitch markers. This was a whole set. This all came on a card together. Turn that around. Here's some stars like compass type stars reminds me of Peter Pan first star to the right and all straight on till morning and then I did these ones in numbers I found this whole number pack so if I want to like mark my rows and then these here I just put these words on here so I know like 
which is the right side or the left side. So I can just keep track of things if I'm making, you know, a cardigan or something like that. Double crochet. I think I have single in here. Just, I don't know, whatever, more right. Here's back. Left and right. This is the wrong side and the right side of the front. And then here is repeat. So where you begin the repeat. So I just kind of thought of the things that, you know, you usually need. And so, yeah, you can just make these pretty easy. And so that's kind of what I've been doing lately. But anyway, uh, hope I didn't bore you. That was pretty much a look at all of my knitting and crochet uh, tools. So as promised, there you are. Have a great night and we'll see you next time.